Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Did you all finish all the activities we mentioned in the previous class? Please do send us pictures once you finish the activities so that I can check them. So today uh, we will talk about some properties of addition. We have already learned about uh, how to add bigger numbers. So let's talk about the properties of addition today. So in addition, we have the property of order or the order property of addition, the property of grouping of add-ins, the property of zero and the property of one. Let's see the order property of addition first. So this property says that even if we change the order of the add-ins, the sum remains the same. So let's see that with an example. Look at this addition 32,145 plus 2000. So let's check if the order property is correct or not. So let's add these two numbers. So this is 5, 4, 1, 4. So it's 34,145. Now let's change the order of the add-ins. So here I have written 2000 first and below that I have written the uh, number 32,145. Now let's add and see if the sum is the same. See here also the answer or the sum is 34,145 and there also it is 34,145. So it means even, we, even when we change the order of the add-ins the sum remained the same. Hence the order property of addition is verified. Now see the grouping of add-ins or the property of grouping of add-ins. It says that when we are adding three or more numbers we can group numbers or we can group the add-ins and it doesn't matter how we group the add-ins the sum will remain the same. Let's see that with an example. Calculate 38,677 plus 47,958 and plus 28,975. See here the first two numbers are grouped with brackets. So when we have numbers grouped in brackets, we always do the calculation within the brackets first. So let's see this addition. How do we add this? 38,677 plus 47,958. So 8 plus 7 it's 15. Balance or carry over 1 here. 13. Carry over 1 here. 16. Carry over 1 here. Again 16. Carry over 1. It is 4 plus 3 plus 1, it is 86,635. So this part equals this number. Now we have one more number to add with this, that is 28,975. Let's see how we can add that one. So 86,635 plus 28,975. The sum here is 10, here it's 11, it's 16, it's uh, 8 plus 6, 14 plus 1 is 15, balance 1, this. What is the answer? It is 1,15,610. So, this is the answer to this way of grouping. Now, let's change the way of grouping. See, here the first number is left as, as it is and the two other numbers are grouped together. Now let's see how the sum can be done. So we are always doing the calculation within the brackets first. So that means let's do this calculation first which equals 47,958 plus 28,975. That is equal to 13, 13, it is 9 plus 9, 18 plus 1, 19, balance 1, 16, balance 1, 4 plus 2, 6, plus 1, 7. So this part equals this number. Now we have one more number to add here. So let's see what is the answer there. So 
Here also, the answer is 1,15,610. So, this was the first way of grouping. And this is the second way of grouping. So, in both the cases, we got the same answer. And that means it doesn't matter how we group the numbers or how we group the add-ins. The sum will remain the same. Hence, the property of grouping of add-ins is Verified. Now, let's see the property of 0. It says that the sum of any number and 0 is the number itself. Look at this addition. Let's add this one. 58,743 plus 0. That is 3 ones plus 0 ones is 3 itself. And all the other digits remain the same. So, we get the number itself. Hence, the property of 0 is Verify. Now, the property of 1. Property of 1 says that the sum of any number and 1 is always the successor of the given number. We have learned about successor in our chapter 1. Successor means the number that comes right after a given number. So, let's check that with an example. Look at this number plus 1. So, this What is it? 7 plus 1 is 8. All other digits remain the same. And this number is the successor of this number. So, hence the property of 1 is verified. See, even if we write this number plus 1, it is equal to 1 plus this number according to the property of order of add-ins. It's the same case. In the case of 0 also, even if you add 0 in the uh, beginning or after the num given number or even if you change the order of the numbers when you are adding 0, the sum will remain the same. Okay. Now, all of you take your textbook, turn to page number 24. We can see the heading properties of addition there. Please go through all the properties once and then you have to do question number 1. Question number 1 of exercise 2.2 in your textbook. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you finished writing the answers. Now let's check the answers. So the first question is fill in the blanks. Question A, 1,32,423 plus 2,35,347 equal to the same number has come here. 2,35,347 plus dash. So, according to the order property of addition, we know changing the order of the atoms will not change the sum. So, we can write this sum is equal to the order reverse. So, it is 1,32,423 here. This number. What is the next question? B. 3,73,543 plus 0 equal to dash. We know from the property of 0, uh, adding 0 to any number gives the number itself. So, here the answer is 3,73,543. Now, question C. 3,42,627 plus dash equal to the same number here itself. 3,42,627. So, again, the property of 0 is applicable here. So this number is not changed. So, 0 is the ticket that has to be, uh, that has, uh, that should come here. Now, question D. 2,33,454 plus dash equal to 2,33,455. Look at the digits at the end or the digits at the ones place. This number is the successor of this number. So, from the property of 1, we know any number plus 1 
gives the successor of the given number. So the number that has that should come here is 1. Now question E 5 lakh 62,456 plus 56,234 plus 3 lakh 45,236 equal to. See the numbers are grouped here. Here the last two numbers are grouped together and in this case the first two numbers are grouped and the second number in the first grouping is missing and you have the third number here. So from the property of grouping of add-ins we know changing the way of grouping does not change the sum. So we can directly write this number here. So here the answer is 56,200. 34. I hope your answers are correct. Now let's move on to question number 2. Using the properties of addition, add the following and compare the sums. Let's see the questions. Here you have the first question. It has two parts. The first there is a sum and in the second case the order is reversed. See this second in the first case the number is given as the second number here the order is reversed. So Let's do the addition and check the sums based on the properties of addition that we learned just now. So the first addition 22,457 plus 27,456 that gives you 13, 7, 6 plus, 7 plus 6 is 13 ones. I carry over 1 here, 1, 1. So it is uh, 9 here, 9 and okay. So this is the sum that you get here. You should check this sum uh, in your notebook and verify it is the same that the answer of the sum is the same as this number. Then you will be able to verify the property of order of addends. Now for question B here here also the numbers are just reversed and let's see what is the sum of the first set. Let's add the numbers here. And is 7 plus 2, 9. That is 2, 7 plus 9, 8. Okay. So it is 7,98,510. All of you should do this part in your notebook and verify the sum is the same as in the first case. Okay. Now, for question C. In question C, the numbers are grouped and the grouping is changed. The way of grouping is changed in the second case. So now let's check the first case now. It is 2,60,357 plus 2,48,486. This part equal to 5,8,843. There is one more number here. So let's add that number also. So this part plus this number gives you the sum 7,29,410. All of you should do this part in your notebook and check if the answer is the same as this one. If the sum is the, if the sums are the same, the property of grouping of add-ins will be verified. Now, what about question D? Question D, here also, it's about uh, grouping of add-ins. So let's check this part first. So the sum here is 9,59,803. There is one more number to be added. So adding this and the number here will give you the sum 13,85,070. You should do this part in your notebook and check if the sum is the same as this number. If the sums are the same, the property of grouping of add-ins will be verified. Now, now we'll have some fun with maths, okay? Now, do you see the numbers given here? Add 87 plus, 45 plus, 33 plus, 25. Yeah, four numbers to be added here. So, um, let's see. It will be easier for us to do the addition if we group the numbers. Now, how do we group the numbers? We have 87 plus 45 plus 33 plus 25. We know if there are zeros in among the add-ins or zeros as digits in the add-ins, the numbers will be easier to add, right? So let's see if uh, we'll be able to 
uh, put in zeros in between or let's see if any of the numbers when added gives you zero so that the sum will be easier. Look at this number 87 and 33. In this number, in these two numbers, we have 7 in the 1's place and 3 in the 1's place for this number. 7 plus 3 gives you 10. So, there is one possible 0 that will come if you group these two numbers. So, let's try that grouping. 87 plus 33 group together. Then you have what is left? You have what left? It is 45 and 25. 5 and 5. 5 plus 5 gives you 10. So let's see that. What is 87 plus 33? You don't really have to write every time you are going to add some numbers. You can add in your mind. So that will make your mind sharper. Okay. So 87 plus 33. Let's add the ones first. 7 plus 3 is 10. So from 10, you put the one, 0 ones in the ones place and carry over the 110 to the tens place. So, eight, uh, 3 tens plus 8 tens is 11 tens and you have 1 carry over 10 from the addition of 1s. So, that 11 from 8 plus 3 plus 1 equals 12. And let's see this part 45 plus 25. What is 5 plus 5? It's 10 and I carry over to the tens place. So 4 plus 2 is 6 plus the carryover from the 1's place. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So what is 120 plus 70? It is 190. So the way we group numbers makes a difference to how easily we can add numbers. I hope this is clear to you. So, we have been discussing on the properties of addition and in your page number 25 of the textbook, you can see the heading fun with maths and the first example we already discussed here and there are a few more questions given there. So, the following using the same method. There are six questions. You can try doing this in your notebook and once you are finished, you can send us a picture and there is also one more heading down below. It's speed maths those are very simple questions do that one also so that's all for today we'll meet in the next class until then bye